What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the state of gaming because I think gaming is in a bad, bad place. Bad, bad, bad place. Uh, if we, let's talk about the games that came out last year. Well, let's start with FIFA 22. Yeah, so let's start, I think that's the best place to start if, in my honest opinion. Um, I think FIFA 22 was not a good game. There was a lot of issues with the game. For example, I think that they need to start doing something new with pro clubs. Lots of people have given them suggestions saying save pro clubs and all stuff like that for next year because pro clubs is in my opinion the game mode that has the most fun in it if we're all being honest pro clubs is, is fun like even all the clips that come out of pro clubs it's, it's a fun game mode to play let's be all be honest but they don't do nothing about it because once they don't make the money let's be honest a lot of people are giving them ideas i saw a clip the other day from mini minter where him and the sidemen gave them ideas of how to make money with pro clubs like for example they implemented like a battle pass or like all the other games have or like they let people buy celebrations boots hairstyles whatever type of shit whatever they wanted but um they said they'll take the idea on board and um looking at next year i don't think they have even with cross play they said pro clubs making having cross play is is not easy to do okay they had like a year to do it but it's all right that it would have been more fun if it was cross play but let's be honest we're all tired of the same Start from Division 10, get to Division 1. Once you win Division 1, then what is there to do? That's it. You're done. Yeah, and it's just, it just gets, it's just stagnant. It's been like that for 10 years now. You just get to Division 1 and that's it. Even the tournaments that are in the game mode are not fun. Let's, let's be honest. I can't lie. The most fun I had in one of them tournament modes is when we went to Penny Shootouts. And we, and both teams initially threw so we could play Penny Shootouts. But let's be honest. If you and your friends are in, a, in pro clubs on a Penny Shootout, that'll be fucking jokes. Because if one of you guys miss, they're going to get, they're going to get roasted. Like they're gonna get taken a piss out of. Let's if we're being if we're being honest. How many years it took them to fix career mode? Like n n I wanna say fix. I wanna say career mode's fixed. Like let's. It took them a couple of years to sort out career mode. People have been begging for years, but again, career mode don't make the money. So EA is not gonna fix something that makes the money. Ultimate team. Um. Yeah, ultimate team is the thing that makes them the most money. Let's be honest. But it's just it's, I don't know. It's, I I just don't find the game fun anymore. A lot of people can tell you the same thing. I, I personally just don't find FIFA fun anymore. Now I'll play it in from September, whenever it, I think it comes at the end of the September. I'll play it for a couple of while and then I'll just quit. The last fun I've had on FIFA was probably like Ultimate Team or whatever was FIFA 18. 19, we, don't, we all collectively know 19 sucked. And we all know 20 was sucked as well. But the problem is with 20, it can't be worse than 19. Because 19 was awful. Like FIFA 19 was awful. 21... Let me remember 21. Yeah, 21 still wasn't good, but like it was just tolerable. And this year, majority of people just quit. I don't know, maybe because I started working full time, is that I decided to not spend the free time I had playing that crap. Like, I'll, be, I'll be honest. And then, yeah, FIFA 23 is now cross play. I think it's going to be cross play between the markets between PlayStation and Xbox. Obviously, we can't do PC because if there was a PC, PC market on there. The people have bots set up in place that will just take every single player and just destroy the market if we're being honest which is why they can't do it if they were to implement a market between pc and consoles we're fucked <laughs> we are fucked <laughs> like, we're fucked yeah but playing with each playing i don't mind in it I, I don't mind it'll be more fun I, I'm, I'm assuming but it's not that way for pro clubs and pro clubs is the game one i'm mostly interested in because it's, it's, it's fun ultimate team dies after a while let's be honest after team of the season does ultimate team not die? No, not team of the season. No, uh, let me change that. Sorry, team of the year. After team of the year, ultimate team dies. It happens. It's like that every single year, without fail. This year, I quit after team of the year. The year before that, the year before that, because from January to what team of the season comes out, what is it? <laughs> like, there just isn't anything to do. You can still do that. Like, what foot champs, or whatever. But like, it's just division rivals is the reason that don't make sense to me. I can't lie. It's it's just. It, mm, yeah, it just didn't make sense. I like doing SBCs though, but that's about it. I remember wait, what FIFA was it where it was just menu FIFA, where people didn't even play the game. That might have been 19 or 20, where people just never touched the game. Everyone just did menu stuff. Every 6 p.m. we'll just go on Ultimate Team to see what's new. So that leaves FIFA. Let's just say FIFA 23. Will things change? Probably not. To NBA 2K23. I'm finally going to be playing 2K again. I haven't played 2K in a while. I'll be honest, I haven't played 2K in a while. And a lot of people who, like, the creators have all, probably all left. But I'll be back this year. All my friends have started to play 2K, but so I'll be back. Will I drop 2K content? 
Probably not. <laughs> but I'll be back playing 2K. I don't know how really want to play it. I used to enjoy the old 2K, like 16, 17, 18. And then let's just, yeah, then I just stopped playing. Then I came back for 20 because it was it was lockdown and I was bored. So I came back. I didn't play 21. I, I skipped that. I skipped last year. But yeah, I'll be back for 22. No, not 20. No, I skipped 21 and 22. I'll be back for 23. But I, I apparently there's no improvements with the game. And yeah. Apparently there's a lot of broken stuff. So apparently 2K23, a lot of people are saying that nothing will change and all this and that. And st people are talking about they take going back to the shop meter from 2017. Does it really matter? Because a lot of people turn off the shop meter anyway. Like, <laughs> like most people, most, all the good players just turn it off anyway. So it is what it is. But I'll be back to playing that game. Apparently for the last couple of years, 2K has not been good either. I've been watching a lot of 2K. But yeah, but my friends enjoy it. So... I'll be back on 2K this year. Let's let's just see how that that goes. Now this is the interesting topic. Vanguard, Battlefield, and Halo. I remember it came out collectively that the viewership on Twitch when the game came out, sometime during like what I think it was December, January, the viewership was low. Like I was seeing like 4K, 1K. Battlefield flopped. Boy, Battlefield flopped. Hey, and we all saw the trailer for Battlefield. Let, let me bring up the trailer. Let me show you how many views the trailer for Battlefield got. Because fucking hell, a lot of people were gassed for Battlefield. Battlefield 2042. Okay, so Battlefield original trailer got 23 million views. I'm not going to sign it. It's amazing how the marketing team behind this trailer knows more about Battlefield than the developers themselves. Within, fi within a five minute trailer, it's better than the whole entire game. Never ever underestimate DICE ability to disappoint. Facts. It wasn't DICE, it was EA. DICE is a part of EA. Yeah, let's just say it wasn't good. When they first released the game, like the beta, there was a lot of bugs. But then they decided because Halo and Call of Duty was going to be coming out, they decided that they couldn't miss the opportunity to drop the game even though they never fixed none of the bugs and stuff that was in the game. And they just released a game that wasn't perfect or even near perfect. And it just flopped. It's like watching your parents' wedding video after they divorce. That that should just tell you everything you need to know about the new Battlefield 2042 game. It's not really. It's been out for like a year now, and this comes from nine months ago. I wish I got this version of the game. No specialist, good animation and visuals, a good mixture of inf infantry and vehicles. This trailer looks amazing. I hope this game won't disappoint us. Fifty-seven. Me too. I heard the alpha will drop in twenty twenty-three. Wait, hold up. This came out last year. Okay, yeah, seven months ago. Alright, cool. 1.1 million likes and no dislikes. This game must be good, right? YouTube removed dislike. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, let's see. Battlefield dropped the trailer the other day. Okay, official update overview trailer. Okay, let's see what the comments are saying. The real game released in 2042. Okay. Wow, this is actually a well put together and informative. Feels like more work being done here than Halo is, is getting set. Now, let's talk about Halo. Because Halo, oh, deary me, Halo. Halo, what happened? Oh, there's actually a video right here that says how Halo lost its identity. What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I feel compelled to make a Halo video because I sense a growing sentiment around this franchise and around Infinite, an idea likely accepted as gospel amongst our corporate overlords. The difference between Halo, right, and the difference between Vanguard, the two main differences is Halo is free. So I'll give Halo its credit. Halo is free. But, 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 there have not been no updates to Halo. Like, I used to play Halo. Like, I, I looked at the Halo the other day because it was season two. By the way, the game first came out in what? September? Okay, 15th of November. It's been 10 months, roughly around about 10 months since the game first came out. And they dropped season two recently. So, the, the game just been stagnated. Like, it's just been awful. Even the competitors don't like the game. The competitors are like, there's nothing new, so what's the point? They've done like what two major tournaments. The first one when they did it was actually pretty fun to watch. Then I started playing Halo. Then I logged onto Halo to see what season two was like. I played one game of Oddborn. I just logged off. Like Halo is not fun. It was a disappointment if I'm being honest. Then instead of releasing a new update for their game, yeah, they decided to release a cookbook. Like why? Like why? Why did you release a cookbook? <laughs> like I, I remember I saw a formal tweet out about it. I was like, like why the fuck are you releasing a cookbook? Like I didn't get it. And then, yeah, so I actually used to enjoy playing Halo. I used to play competitive, but then I just stopped. It was just, it was just, it was just the same shit. Nothing changed. 
But yeah, maybe fellow content creators might agree, and even certain gamers. With the release and relative collapse of Halo Infinite. Oh Hello. my goodness! Wait, wait. Oh, only 3,000 people are playing the game. This is everything you need to know about Halo. Okay, stream charts. An ongoing analysis of stream of Steam's current players. Okay, cool. These are the players playing Halo. As of two, three thousand people are playing Halo. Three thousand. <laughs> Halo is a fucking well-known franchise. Oh my god! Only three thousand people I've are playing Halo. Question. That Can Halo compete or even exist in the gaming market today? You might compare the Twitch numbers and Steam charts for Infinite with games like Apex. Okay, so 120, 121,000. Yeah, let's just peak viewers. Yeah, let's just say, but yeah, Valorant's king. Let's go. Let's be honest. Valorant's king. When it comes to the whole scene, Valorant's king. Let's be honest. Apex. Yeah, Warzone died. Let's be honest. Warzone's awful. We we'll get. Well, don't worry. We're getting to Warzone soon. Don't you worry. I got issues with Warzone. Warzone. Oh, there's only 789. Oh, Destiny, like and think, yeah, maybe Halo just can't compete anymore in this ultra competitive landscape of first person shooters, a market dominated by twitchy, high octane battle royales. Is there any home for a classic FPS experience? No. Maybe Halo needed more than one BR. I'm here to tell you folks, in order to compete or even dominate the FPS market, cool. all Halo needs to do is be itself. Yes, that is the cheesiest thing I've ever said, but it's true. With the state of Infinite being something else, Shit. I've seen Shit. a lot of fans grow pessimistic, downtrodden. Oh, 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 look at what people are saying. Halo Season 2 is so bad and forgettable. A lot of fans grow Halo has never been this down bad. Halo Infinite disappointment. Do I need to say anything more? We all know that Battlefield was awful. We all know that Battlefield flopped. But Halo, oh God, Halo. Pessimistic, Halo, downtrodden, Halo, Halo. that's a good word. And skeptical of the franchise's future. It sucks that I have they to say- They even used the TV, they made a TV that show. Group. How about a TV show better than Halo? getting back into game. Halo after a long break, well, they haven't really gotten a good reason to do so. Yeah. But Halo will never die. True. It might just be missing in action for now. Yes, I hear you skeptics. Trends do come and go. One genre might be super popular this decade and completely forgotten the next. Sure. Did somebody say Warcraft 4? Can I fucking have it already? It's just uh, the nature I, of I things. I don't know about that one. My goal for this video is to offer a solution, an alternate reality where Halo can thrive. Okay, let's I'm going see. to show you exactly how and why Halo was popular. So here's my proposition to you, 343 and Microsoft. All right, folks, we're making a new Halo game. Okay, cool. And with that, we must remember the most important thing about this franchise. What is the game most play. important thing, Mr. Act? Gameplay. Uh, money? Money me now? No, stupid yeah, players. Yeah. We yeah. want players. We need the most people playing, enjoying our product, and feeling satisfied. You know why, dingus? Because people don't spend money on games they don't play. Sure. We agreed on the free-to-play thing, right, Mr. Spencer? Yeah? Okay. So our income is now only partially based on sales. Our business model is mostly dependent on active players. That is very true. What's going on? Halo like, is free. People are not playing it. And they require like things like buying season pass all of that. But no one's playing the game, so I, I don't, what do you So do? we need them. What I propose is simply this. We at 343 make the best Halo game possible. That's it. Let's consider all the highly requested features. Let's consider fan feedback and think about the most important aspects of this yes. franchise. Yes. For example, like, of course we'll have a Slayer playlist at launch, right? Being the most popular method of engaging with this franchise since its inception, naturally we're gonna have that, you filthy young boy. Can you imagine <laughs> fan reaction if we didn't let them play Slayer? That is very <laughs> but true. I believe the best course that of action for true. our new Halo is to make the best game possible then figure out how to monetize it. Uh, cool. I think I spent way too much time on discussing Halo. Let's go to Call of Duty. I think it's time to talk about Call of Duty Vanguard. I, in my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd actually say this, but this might be the worst Call of Duty <laughs> of all time. It might even be worse than Modern Warfare 2019. Yes. Yes. I think it might be worse than Modern Warfare 2019. Now, some people may be asking why. Why do I think it's worse than 2019? 
My people probably don't even care about Call of Duty no more, let's be honest. Most people switch to Warzone, and even Warzone fucking sucks. Boy, Warzone fucking sucks. Oh, God. You know what, yeah? I, I, was I was one of the people for Warzone that was screaming out for a new map. I wish I didn't. <laughs> I wish I just stuck with Vanadsk. Because Caldera's awful. Awful. I hate to even lower the player count. It used to be 150, right? Now it's at like 120. And it's still bad. And the game's just bad. Like... The guns are all, like, the, I'll be real, the problem with Warzone, the guns are not usually overpowered, there's always one meta. If one gun's doing well, they just, just nerf it to the ground, then another gun will come up, nerf that to the ground. That is that is the Warzone philosophy, and that's what it's been like. Start with the growl, nerf that. Move to the kilo, nerf that. Move to the, what, br what Bruin, nerf that. Then move to, then the shotguns, you know, the doof doof, nerf that to the ground, if that should have been nerfed. Then never forget, never ever forget the amazon that one thing i'll never forget in my life then then when i heard I, I got ptsd when i hit the dmr dmr and org oh that was a bad time period bad time period in 2021 oh dmr got nerfed all came up like <laughs> that should have been nerfed those two guns should have been nerfed a lot uh, sooner but yeah, that's why people hate vanguard let's be honest the reason why people hated what bad dance was due to the fact that those campers yeah, campers and hackers. Those are the two things that killed the whole game. That's that's what destroyed like, Vadans. Then afterward, they decided to make a new map called Caldera. And I'll be honest, Rebirth is more fun. Caldera, it, was, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't it. The map was, the map was I don't know. It was just designed poorly. Like, I'd, I'd give it credit. Like, they wanted to get rid of their camping problem, but it, 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 just, it just wasn't fun. People are now screaming back they want Cal they want Verdansk. They want, they, want, they said, at least give us Verdansk back. Now do a rotational map. Give us the dance back for like, cause I hear the 16th of November is when they release a Warzone 2. Just give for season five. Just give us the dance back. I'll be honest. I I don't want. I've even I used to be the biggest Warzone fan. I've stopped playing. I don't play no more. All I play now is Valorant. That's all I play. I'll be real. Console gaming is dying. By the way, let's let's not let's not forget that it's dying. But I'll be back on console for FIFA and the new Call of Duty. But when it comes to better gaming experience i'll play pc because boy it sucks so basically they release f four respawn maps for vanguard which is not good enough explain to me they dropped 18 maps 18 maps and they said well, this is going to be our l largest map pool that we've ever dropped for a game that's what they said to us at the start of the game the largest map that's going to be released at launch 18. only four got released for competitive for respawns and one extra one for certain destroy. We had Desert Siege, Tuscan, Berlin, Volkaj, and what the fuck's the other one? Kavutu. Kavutu is an awful map, by the way. I just need to get that out of there now. It's awful. Volkaj was it was too hectic, I'll be honest. But I it was alright. I didn't like it. I was on a fan. Certain destroy, I wasn't a fan. Berlin, mm, I wasn't a fan of Berlin. I'll be honest. The only map that I would ever take from there and put into another Call of Duty was Tuscan. I'd admit Tuscan. Okay, cool. Desert Siege was a certain destroyer and that was it. But yeah, how can you drop 18 maps and only 4 that be adequate enough? Because I can't, when I played the beta and they put me on that snow map and it was a 6v6, come on. <laughs> come on. Boy, that game was not good. Vanguard was not good. Like, I get they tried to do the whole, we want to do increase the pacing, all that shit. They released so many maps afterwards. How many people could tell me the maps they released after, after launch? Who still played after launch? I just played competitive and deep it. They dropped competitive in February or March they dropped it late in the year and I can't lie to you I only play competitive so any other maps apart from that I don't know the names I don't know what they are I don't know at least Modern Warfare I knew what it was because all I played was Surf and Destroy but Vanguard is actually worse than Modern Warfare yeah it is like I, I never thought I'd say it I never thought there would be a game worse than Modern Warfare but there is it is Vanguard <laughs> I can't believe it I think even the pros hate it I'll be honest if I wouldn't be surprised the pros some of the pros said they hate Vanguard because I'll be honest in my professional opinion, Cold War was a good game. Cold War was... I think Cold War was a good game. Like, they brought back some of the old maps. Some of the new maps they had was... It, was, it just blended well. Brought back Raid. I think Raid should... There should be an agreement. Raid should be in every single game. Like, then they had Moscow. Moscow was on the right map. Then they had, what, Checkmate. It was alright. There was a big play in the middle. Even that, I'll take that over what the fuck we had in Modern War... In Vanguard. Then what we had... Got Garrison. Pff, heck, Garrison was better than what we had now. And I didn't... I didn't like Garrison. Like, I didn't like it. But boy, even Miami Search and Destroy is better than the Search and Destroy we had now. But like, why? How? 
how? Like, Miami was an awful map. We all know Miami was an awful map. Search and Destroy was, was alright. But, like, how can that be better than fucking Berlin Search and Destroy? <laughs> I hated that map. But I actually really did like... I actually did like Cold War. Yeah, but... I guess we can't... If Modern Warfare sucks, by the, by the way. If Modern Warfare sucks, that is two years. Not one like usual. This is two years of not playing the game. Because, boy... Boy, heck, even compare. Why is there only 12 teams and only 8 make it to champs? See how boring that is. No one wants to watch league matches online, I'll be honest. Like, it's just, it's dead. It's so bad. Certain needs to change. Like, please go back to open play. Like, Valorant is fun to watch when it's open play. People are competing. Like, the last chance qualifiers, like, franchises is, is killing the game, I'll be honest. Imagine Paris Legion. You're paying 25 mil to buy in and your team never wins. Your team never makes it to champs. What's the point? You're basically playing your players for just to have fun. Because all they do is just have fun. Because Paris has been awful for three years since they've been franchised. Boy, boy, boy. So you've got FIFA, 23, NBA, and Modern Warfare 2. All coming up very soon. I have no hope for FIFA, I'll be honest. 2K, I don't have hope for that either. Modern Warfare, from the way it's looking. Modern Warfare 2, from the way it's looking, no hope for that. I'll be playing it, and I'll give you an opinion afterwards, but... The way it's looking, it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. The state of gaming is at an all time low. Even story mode games, they don't release that stuff. If I ever talk about Last of Us 2, if I ever talk about that game, <sighs> how can you make a masterpiece like Last of Us 1 and then do this in number 2? You made me play half the game with someone I didn't care about. Like, can we, can we, as people, human beings, can we deep this? I played half the game as someone I did not care about. And then at the end of the game, I didn't even get to kill her. I didn't even care if you don't spoil her. Fucking spoiler. I didn't even get to kill her. Why did I play the game? Like, if Ellie went to go chase the girl afterwards, found her, should it, was about to kill her and said, nah. So what was the whole point? What was the whole point of the game? She killed, she killed Joel. And they advertised Joel, and Joel wasn't even a part of the game. He was only there for like an hour. If I talk about Last of Us 2, I'll be here all night. Because that game was not good. I played the game in one day. Actually, you know what? One or two days. I finished the game probably two days. That weekend. It dropped on Friday. I finished it like before Sunday. Finished it in the weekend and that game wasn't good. Games are not good nowadays. Boy. And we're talking about top three CODs. It has to go Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, then um, fuck. I'll put Black Ops 3. Fuck it. I'll put Black Ops 3 there. But yeah. Boy, let's hope the new games come out good. All I play now is Valorant. Literally, the game was on my dashboard. I got Valorant. Don't play Apex, but Apex is alright. Split gate, oh, split gate fell off. Oh, split gate fell off. Oh. Now let's talk about Warzone. I think we talked about Warzone enough already. But boy, Warzone 2. This is it for you, I can't lie. Because right now, even viewership is down. No one cares about the tournaments. No one cares about anything. This is it. This is it, Warzone 2. November 16th, I'll be there. I enjoyed Warzone. Lockdown Warzone was a key point in gaming, man. We'll be honest, it was a... It was a, it was a it was, was a good time. It was, it was a lockdown warzone. was a great time. Crab game, by the way. That game's a racist ass game, by the way. I dropped on that game, yeah. They, hey, everyone just on game chat. They're fucking racist. I can't lie. Let's see. Phasmophobia. Fucking hell, that game's scary. Among Us. Oh, Among Us was great times. Among Us was great times. Rocket League. I haven't played that in a minute. GTA. Please drop GTA 6. It's been, it's been a minute. I can't lie. We need GTA 6. But heck, GTA 5 is still good enough. I can't lie. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about gaming because I think it's in a bad place. I don't, there's a lot, I don't know what can save it. And FIFA, please, please do something to pro clubs. And Karim, if you guys did what on career mode for FIFA, that football manager did, where you guys make everyone pick, like your friends can all pick up one team in a league, you know how much fun that would be? Imagine you and your friends try and compete for players. Hey, yo, yeah, bro, imagine you're bidding for flipping, like, I don't know, Saka, and then your boy bids for Saka too, and you guys are in a bidding war. Bro, yeah, how fun that would be. Imagine your players get stolen. Your boy's like, yeah, I want to sign this player. You go snap him up quick in the transfer window. And you guys can see who gets higher in the league. But, but obviously, you can't be Man City, innit? <laughs> you can't be Man City. They've got too much money. Heck, even Newcastle got too much money now. But if they implemented that, what Football Manager has, career mode would be flipping fun. A lot more people would play it. But again, money. <laughs> That's what EA is about. And yeah, so if it doesn't have money, EA is not listening. So, what we could do. And, but all the people that used to play FIFA are all getting older now and all of them are going to start moving away from playing FIFA so and the younger kids they'll just play whatever they get given so there's nothing we can do
But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys in a bit.